You see, I am able to drive well. The Kenyan constitution has given opportunities to different Kenyans, including opportunities to deaf people as well. The constitution is not clear on deaf people being allowed to drive. This is the Leonard Cheshire disability. There are different types of disabilities. We do not focus on one type of disability. We focus on the blind, deaf, physically impaired, learning disabilities and other types of disabilities. All of these combined can make a big impact. I'm the Advocacy Campaign Manager and I strive to bring changes in the lives of persons with disabilities. Our advocacy targets the different groups. We mostly target the government because they are the duty bearer. They are responsible to provide services. I understand the rights of each person with disability so that I am able to match policies and the needs of persons with disabilities. To become a manager like myself, the most important thing is to have a good education. In advocacy, you need to understand different legislation. Like in Kenya, we have different legislations. For example, the United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, which has been signed and ratified. We also have the Constitution of Kenya and also the Persons with Disabilities Act of Kenya. There are also many others which are important as well. When you understand all these, then you can see them in advocacy. Surely there are challenges. Because I am deaf, I have communication challenges. The only way to solve this is to have an interpreter intervene to make sure that I express myself clearly to the audience and that my message is taken well. I felt very lonely after I became deaf. All children could talk to each other, but I couldn't. They would play together but stop me from joining them. Sadly, my parents did not understand sign language. But one of my brothers learned basic sign language. That's how both of us communicate. If I have a very important family meeting, I bring in an interpreter to make my participation in the meeting meaningful. But mostly, I write. Now that I'm married to a hearing lady, sometimes she can interpret for me. But if there are sensitive issues that she can't be involved, then I don't involve her. I met my wife at the university. I was doing my diploma and she was in the same class. We started interacting and later we fell in love. Then we got married. With her, it was quite easy. She was willing to learn the language. With deaf people, 
When someone decides to learn sign language, there is always a bond. When there is no language between them, they lose interest. Our love also made our relationship stronger. Later, she informed her parents. The parents were uneasy. They wondered why out of all the people, our daughter was going for a deaf man. There were so many questions which made her parents hesitant for a while. But my wife tried explaining to them. Later, they changed their minds and finally they allowed us to wed. This is the University of Nairobi's main campus. I come here every day for my evening classes. I'm doing my Masters in Human Rights and Peace. My interest is in the rights of children. But with a special focus on children with disabilities. I'm trying to understand how the rights of children with disabilities are violated here in Nairobi. And that's what my thesis will focus on. I am deaf, and that's the only barrier I have. But I can do anything. I need the support and I can support the community to make the society a better place for all. <laughs>